What is the real meaning of the priesthood? To lay down one's life for one's friends. today. That's why we see such a crisis in our society is because men aren't standing up. Well, I certainly think that there is a crisis of, of manhood, men not really knowing how to be men. People are being fooled. They, they, they think that they're being genuine. They think that they're uh, attaining to something special, but a lot of our culture is full of lies. I think there's a great misunderstanding of what manhood really is in our culture today. And essentially, I kind of have to be tough to be a person of faith in society today because uh, society wants to mock it or I just kind of discount it and say it has no credibility. To be a real man is to be self-sacrificing and to be loving and to care about others more than you do yourself. He's not afraid of what others are going to think about him or what others may say. Having the disposition of a lamb but the roar of a lion, that's what a true man is and Christ is an absolute perfect example of that. We are doing God's work, and we are trying to the best of our ability to carry out God's will. All I have to do is look at the cross, and I see this is who I have to follow. This is my example. I was about seven years old in kindergarten. Um, one day my dad and I were going to Mass together, and I saw a priest walk by in his black clerics. And as he walked by, I just, I looked up at my dad and I said, Dad, I want to be a father, meaning, Dad, I want to be a priest. It struck me. It's, something came from without that just told me that this is what I wanted to do. Just be like this priest who got me started. Outside of Mass, he would come over to our house. He was very funny, very personal, very loving. But inside Mass, he was utterly devoted to Jesus. The example of the priest really inspired me in a very beautiful way. What ended up happening was just trusting in him and, and finally having the courage to say, okay, you know, I don't know if this is where you want me to be for the rest of my life, but I'm going to give it a shot. But to me, I feel called to help people, and the priesthood is the best way to do that. Kind of uh, impressed upon me, you know, what, what I've been doing for other people. Being a spiritual leader for the people, bringing the people closer to Jesus Christ, that's the role of the, of the priest, is to bring them closer to Christ. That's really the goal of the priesthood, is to, to draw people nearer to uh, to Jesus. Being a priest is the best way to help people and has the most impact because the priest, not only does he help people sometimes with counseling or with marriage preparation, but he also has a very, very spiritual and sacramental role. One of the best aspects about being a part of the seminary formation program is the spiritual formation. Daily Mass and Communion or confession or adoration. Just being able to be so near to Christ in the sacraments is an awesome experience. 
I grow daily in my love for Jesus Christ, and um, I just realize that I'm completely dependent on Him and dependent on His church. In conversation in the hall or conversation at the dinner table, we're able to unite ourselves under the common goal of being priests of Jesus Christ. Um, we're all dedicated to discerning God's will in our lives, and we take our formation very seriously. But uh, we still know how to have fun. Studying is a very important part of the formation here at the seminary. Philosophy is really the love of wisdom. And so a philosopher is someone who loves wisdom, who loves knowledge, who loves and, and desires to know the truth. The truth is Jesus, and that'll be my job as a priest, you know, to show people the truth. show them that there's meaning to life, that there's so much more than just the day-to-day -day materialist culture that we live in, but that there's, we're made for heaven, we're not made for anything in this world. People out there are searching for things, and they're never going to find it if they don't have peace because they're going to look in the wrong directions. And in a world that seems to be bent on violence and uh, revenge, the priesthood stands for love and reconciliation and saying that Christ is still in this world of ours, just in the very person of the priest. We need that message. I think people are very hungry for the Word of God. We, ha we have the, the opportunity to just to be holy. I've, I've met priests who work at soup kitchens. I've met priests who visit hospitals. And while their primary goal there is to serve people spiritually, they end up, you know, just being an uplifting presence in, every, in many other ways, too. Nobody knows for sure, especially while they're in the seminary, that they're called to be a priest. What we can know here in the seminary is that we can dedicate ourselves to formation and to discernment, to figuring it out, to seeing if that's what the Lord is calling us to. There's a, a general peace I, I get from knowing that I'm in a place where I'm supposed to be. You know, this may be hard, and this may be challenging, but I know this is right. No one on the right path. You think you're being called to the priesthood and you're kind of afraid to make that first step. Um, I think it's important to realize that if the Lord has given you this gift, you need to, to act on it. If it is uh, God's will that he become a priest, uh, he'll know that after some time. There's only one way to find out if you're called to the priesthood, and that's to go into the seminary, to try it out. I mean, we don't lock the doors behind you. Why wait? If you're thinking about coming eventually, why put it off? Do not be afraid. Don't let fear shackle you. Don't let fear paralyze you from responding to the call of Christ. To anyone who's, who's not considered, I'd say, think about it. No greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends.